So yesterday I went on Facebook Well not yesterday But I went on Facebook Marketplace And got these bad boys for free Facebook Marketplace is, the, is, is, is where it's at Mind you, that don't got nothing to do with nothing I just wanted to show y'all <laughs> So, um, I was watching this uh, this video from Gary V. Um, if you guys haven't heard of him, uh, check him out. Uh, he's awesome. And one of the things he said was, people, you know, they they, they want to document the success when the the real gems and the real truth is when you document your process. Is document the process. Um. You know, today, I uh, I went to church today. Shout out to my church, uh, the, the church I go to, the Excelling Church uh, out there in Queens. And um, for the past, you know, few months that I've been going here, one of the things that's really, really got to me, and this isn't about them at all in any way or anything, because um, I know some of them will see this. I love you guys! Um, but for me, like I was born and raised in church, right? And because of who, uh, because of, you know, either my giftedness or my zeal or whatever the case may be, um, I've always found myself on a stage, right? So uh, before I came to Excelling, I went to this uh, awesome church in Staten Island called uh, Christ and Centered House of Worship. Shout out to Pastor Rowe and the team there, Pastor Lisa, uh, and so forth. And, um, you know, I was a, a part of the team there. I sang, I played guitar, we would do concerts, we would do, you know, uh, gatherings for young people. Um, one of the highlights was uh, we, we even did a pregame show for the Staten Island Yankees. Like, real talk. Andrew, this is... Lee! Yes, and we are here, and uh, I'm getting a, a VIP kind of backstage look uh, for uh, tomorrow, and what's happening tomorrow? Faith and Family Night with the Staten Island Yankees, uh -huh. uh, pre-game performance at the main gate, main entrance by the Koo at 545. You got it right. <laughs> yes, Kuhau, we are doing the pregame performance uh, tomorrow, 545, at the main gate. Bring a friend, bring family. How much are tickets? Uh, $12 for a group, which is 10 or more. $18 for single tickets, walk up. Also, you should know there are uh, fireworks after the game, as well as kids can run the bases. Um, for those of you guys that didn't know, Staten Island does have a minor league baseball team. Uh, we did their pre-show. But anyway, um, and even before that, uh, the churches that I were a part of, or even the personal ministry things that I did, I was always in front of people. I was always on stage. And um, coming to the church that I'm at now, excelling, and mind you, this is uh, after uh, I went to Atlanta. I lived in Atlanta for a year. I moved out of New York February 2017, and I just got back uh, officially uh, summertime of 2018 uh, June and I feel like you know and I've said this to people that's very very close to me like I feel like I'm starting over uh, simply because I'm leaving you know I'm always a part of something and I'm always doing music and I'm always singing and whatever the case is and now I come back and for the first time I'm not in front of people right granted on my own you know in the spring I did a house concert series uh, called Here's My Heart. Uh, went to eight homes. It was awesome, phenomenal. Uh, this fall, I'm looking to uh, start do another tour, this time 16 homes, stretching from here in Brooklyn, New York, all the way as far down as Florida, all right? So, you know, I'm really pushing myself, but um, this is the first time that I'm really, really not on stage like that. And I was in church today, and, uh, you know, I, I felt uh, in my heart, you know what, Andrew, you know, document this and put this out. And just to say that for the first time in my life, 
in the midst of me not being on stage, I'm celebrating who I see. Like I'm celebrating, uh, I'm, I'm celebrating my brothers and sisters that are on stage. I'm celebrating the musicians. You know, shout outs to Dave James, shout outs to his wife, Tahima James. Um, uh, 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 a two punch combo when they grab the mic. They're phenomenal when they get up there. Uh, the rest, uh, the the rest of the team, uh, Tequila, Gail, uh, on the keys, Vinny, Ronnie, Matt. You know what I'm saying? A drummer, Pastor Solomon. Um, I'm 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 watching these guys, and if it was uh, a while, if it was maybe a year or two ago, they, they would have been a part of me. It's like, man, I I want to be up there, and I want to do, and I think why that is is because sometimes as gifted people. We only have, I'll put it like this, as far as gifted people go, what I found is that if you take the gift away, they're nobody, right? If you take their gift away, if you take the ability to express themselves in their gift, then there's this withdrawal, then there's this whole finding out who I am as a person because everything that I am, everything that I've gained, uh, everything that I know the accolades and the attention that I've gotten from people are simply because of my gift, right? And simply because I'm gifted. But what if you can't express yourself through that gift anymore and that's what you're used to doing? Um, and for me, I finally today can say, you know what, Andrew? I appreciate the fact that I'm not on stage and I'm not singing, not because I can't and not because people don't think I should, but because in this time of playing the background and in this time of celebrating my and celebrating others, I'm finding the true value of, regardless of whether I'm on a stage or not, that's not my identity. Like regardless of whether people see me or not, that's not my identity. Like my identity and who I am is found in the person I belong to. And if I belong to God and if I'm worth to God, it's not Andrew, you're worth my time, my attention, my love and my affection, my grace, my mercy. It's not that you're only worth that when you're in front of people and you feel like you deserve it, but it's, you're my son, or for some of you watching, daughter. Regardless of whether people see you or not, regardless of whether or not people call your name, regardless of all of these things. And I feel like sometimes, because we haven't fully understand that, there's tons of individuals that get to places through manipulation and through dishonesty and through mixed motives and differencing of agendas simply because they haven't learned that <laughs> you don't have to fight like God loves you you belong to him and that should be enough um so wherever you're at in life right now, it's okay. Like wherever you're at in life right now, wherever you find yourself right now, it's okay. Like it's all right. Wherever you find yourself, it's okay. Because it's through wherever you are, whatever process that you're in, God wants to teach you something. Like he wants to teach you. He, he, he wants you to learn. He wants you to grow. Don't fight it. Don't run from it. Learn and embrace it. Where you are right now is not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. So this is just, you know, uh, a quick piece of my personal process where I'm just like, you know what? I'm going to move the way I feel to move the way, you know, I feel that God's put in my heart to move. And if tons of people see me great, if tons of people don't see me, great. The 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 prophet Lecrae. <laughs> uh, Lecrae's an awesome dude. Uh, but Lecrae said, listen, man, he, he has a famous quote. He said, if you live for their acceptance, then you'll die by their rejection. And because we don't live for the acceptance of people, 
Whether or not I'm liked or accepted isn't my biggest concern. Uh, and neither should it be yours too. So whatever you have in your heart to do, do it. Whatever you feel like you're called to do, make it happen. If people, if tons of people see it, great. If they don't, great. Because at the end of the day, the goal is giving glory to God. And the way we do that is by the uniqueness of our personal human expression. Word. That was good. Love y'all. Make sure uh, you guys tag some, uh, tag someone, share this. Uh, any questions or concerns, DM me, comment below. Like, let, let, let's really uh, start a movement of individuals that are doing the best they can to be their best selves outside of the spotlight, regardless of who knows you or who sees you. God wants you to love him, therefore loving yourself and being your best version of yourself. Yeah. Andrew. Signing out. Peace.